Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to JT's Barefoot Outdoor Adventures. I will not be barefoot outdoors today. Um, and we're doing the intro in the kitchen because it's warm here. It's currently minus 30 outside. But we're going out to play with the Vigilante by Crosman anyway. Let me take a quick look at the box while we're still in uh, somewhere warm. And then we'll go outside and uh, start plinking at some stuff. Here in Canada, the Crossman Vigilante comes in a handy little cardboard box. That'll make a good target later. Comes with two clips. This one here with a whopping, I think it's six in there, is for BBs. And this one with the ten is for our pellets. And here we have the pellet gun itself. It's got some decent weight to it. And, uh, yeah, should, it's, I have played with this already, I'll be honest with you. It's a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to today, aside from the cold. We are going to be using just pellets today, because I've got plenty of other BB guns, so I'm really not that interested in what it can do for me as far as uh, BBs. This is one of the CO2-powered type pellet guns, so if you pick one of these up, I strongly recommend getting the big box because they're just cheaper on a per use basis. So yeah, without much further ado, let's take this outside. We'll set up some assorted things to shoot at and uh, see how it does for penetration. A lot of folks have asked me about the BB guns and pellet guns that I've got for squirrels. Honestly, I think this is probably your best bet, but we're, uh, well, <laughs> we're about to find out. All right. So before we head out there, here's a quick look at the uh, owner's manual slash instructions that come with this. Fairly detailed in my quick scan this morning. I didn't see anything about do not operate in uh, below freezing temperatures. So I'm hoping therefore that I am uh, good to go to go outside and play with this. And it occurs to me I should probably do a demo of loading this before I head outside. Now when you're loading the pellets into this you're gonna wanna make sure that these little gears are facing towards you so that you put the pellet in with the back on the same side as those gears. Just gently press them into the clip. Doesn't take long. I believe they sell extra clips, but I don't know if they come with one BB and one pellet or two BBs or two pellets. I didn't look that closely when I was at the store. That's uh, failing on my part there, I guess. What can I say? I was too busy making sure I had pellets and CO2 and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So there you go. It really doesn't take long to put your 10 shots into this little clip. And uh, if you get a few extras, you might as well use them, load them up, and you're basically good to go. And then as far as putting it into the pistol itself, the BB gun, pellet gun, whatever you want to call it, there's a little button on the top here. You just press down on that. Just show that again. You just press down on the little button there. This peels forward. Now you're going to want to make sure, again, that those gears are facing towards you. You've got the back side of your pellets facing towards you. And I just like to press the button a little bit so it's, it's a little kinder on the, the BB gun. There you go. This is basically good to go. I still don't have a CO2 in here yet because we're inside the house and that is not safe behavior. But basically good to go. So to charge this with the CO2, the handle just comes apart. I've got one kind of sitting in there right now, so it doesn't, normally it looks nicer than that. I have not punctured this because we are still inside the house. So you can see that's still spinning freely. To puncture it, you just screw this up nice and tight. I'll do that outside just because I don't, uh, I don't care for loaded firearms, even pellet guns in the house that could accidentally discharge. So I'll take care of this outside, but I thought I'd show you that where it's warm. Now, normally, I'd be shooting into the straw bales that are tucked into that little shed back there. But as you can see, there is some snow in my way, so just going to utilize the snow bank here. Try and clean up my mess Well, when everything thaws. So today, we have a few different things to shoot at. Starting at the top right, we've got an egg from the fridge. We've got a light corn syrup bottle that I filled with water because I want to see if we can punch all the way through that, even with the water resistance. Then I've got a plastic creamer bottle, a whole bunch of soup cans, and on the end here I have a Dusty Boots hard root beer because it's a semi-carbonated beverage and I'd like to see some sort of spray out of all of this. So, yeah, 
let's get started um, seeing if we can puncture these things. All right, so I'm going to start by just plunking away at those bottom soup cans. I am well behind the camera here. I'm about 30 feet away from my targets. And uh, yeah, all right, time to pop this CO2 and get the vigilante ready to fire. Seriously. All right, so my first clip just seemed to bounce off of the cans. So I'm uh, moving about 10 feet closer. I'm gonna try this again, see if we can get some puncture going on here. Well, hands shaking from the cold don't necessarily aim all that well, but it does look like we got a couple of punctures in all that. So let's move on, because that's kind of impressive, to that uh, hard root beer can there. See what happens when we put the next clip into it. Sorry about the bouncing, it's, it's cold and my camera doesn't want to adjust. All right, so this is clip number three. I have tried these in warmer weather and I get uh, between 12 and 15 clips out of it. So 120 to 150 shots. I'm not sure it's gonna work out that well here in the cold, but here we go at the hard root beer can. Well, that one went right in. That's a bit of a disappointment there. Missed entirely. And that's 10. All right. A little cold out for these games, but I was kind of hoping we'd get some sort of a geyser or something out of that hard root beer. Really, what's left now is, I guess, the egg and the water-filled plastic. All right, well, the egg may not have been a good choice, but you can sort of see the white orb in the bottom of the frame here, amongst all that snow, sitting beside our water-filled plastic corn syrup bottle. So we'll go for the egg first. Hopefully we'll get some sort of explosion out of that so it'll be a little more colorful. And then we'll shoot for the plastic. Well, I don't know how well that showed up on the camera, but that definitely punctured our plastic bottle. Let's get a little closer and take a look at the end results of all of this shooting, because I'm done shooting for the day. Minus 30 is way too cold to be playing these games. So there were quite a few misses on these soup cans. We've got one here that almost looks like it went in, but not quite. No, it did go in because, where's the right one? It's strapped down on the bottom there. So it punctured at least one side of this thing. And over here we've got the hard root beer can, definitely punctured that. In a couple of places, no geyser like I was hoping for. Now the egg shows up a little bit better now. And here is the hole right through the side. Let's see, come on camera, it's all snow. 
And it looks like it went right through both sides there because it's dripping all over the ground. But uh, yeah, you can sort of see just in the top left hand side there. That's where it went through and uh, created my leak. So I mean more or less that works. Out of all the pellet guns that I've tested so far, if I have to go at one of the squirrels I'll probably use this one. Um, you know, probably not going to do a whole lot of damage, but it'll definitely get my point across. Alright. And uh, on that note everybody, I'm going inside. It is flipping cold out here. My hands are freezing. My camera's freezing. That egg is definitely frozen. And uh, yeah, I've been dying to do this review for a while though, so thanks Rev for pushing me in this 30 and 30 thing. I guess this has been video number 5. Thank you all for joining me on the Outdoor Channel as we kind of... Uh, well, experiment with yet another Pelican. Um, if you're looking for video number six, that'll be back on the main JT Bear channel. I think we're going to go take a look around at some of the house plants and discuss some of the theories that I have regarding spider plants and Diefenbachias. All right, everybody, I will see you tomorrow on the main JT Bear channel. Have a great day, folks.